ካምቶ ብለናል እንኳን በሰላም አጣጨው በጋ ነገር ፍጥንጅና አራሞ ከን ወሊን ይላሉ ኤግዚት ኤግዛም ይበረ ደርቢ ይችውን እስቲ የጠናን ሰበረ ደርቢ ይላሉ ማለ ባይናን ዋይ አካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ ካጅሩ ቀነረት ወሊን ይላል ይችውል ኤግዚት ኤግዛም ይበረ ደርቢ የባለፈው አመት ፈተና ነው ዊል ሲ ሰም ኬሽንስ ዊዝ detail answer and explanations of the answers so question number 1 say that which of the following is not a component of which of the following is not a component of income statements statements income statements a revenue b expenses c assets d net income net income the answer for this question is assets assets c is the answers that means c is not a component of income statement c or asset is not a component of income statement because some descriptions of this the income statement focuses on on companies revenue and expense revenue expenses ultimately calculated it is net income so asset is not components of statements uh, income statements net income revenue and expenses are a basic components of income statements assets on the other hand on the other hand are a part of balance sheets not in income statements the balance sheet provides a snapshot of a company financial position at a specific point in time including its asset liabilities and shareholder equities shareholder equities so answer for this question is c next question is question number 2 which accounting principle states that expenses should be recognized in the same period as the revenue they help it generate they help it generate a matching principle b conservatism principle c equity concept d materiality principles the best answer for this question is a that means matching matching principle and the matching principle is an accounting principle that means the accounting principle is directly related with matching principle matching principles so accounting principles that state that expenses should be recognized in the same period as the revenue they help it generates this principle ensures that the company financial statements accurately accurately reflect the matching of costs directly that means they have direct relationship with matching principles matching of cost with the revenue they help to produce provide a more accurate representation of company profitability for specific periods this helps in presenting a true and fair views of the financial performance of a business over time business over time so the best answer is matching principle matching principles is direct or the response of accounting principles next question question number 3 question number 3 which financial statement shows the financial positions of company at a specific point in a time specific point in a time a income statement b statements of retained earning b c balance sheet d statements of cash flow which means that the financial statement shows the financial positions of company at a specific point time point in a time. Sh 
show so for showing financial statements for financial positions of a company at a specific point in a time data center for this one is checking balance which means balance sheets balance sheet is used for balancing balancing financial position of a company at a time or at a specific point in a time that means balancing the positions of the company with the income the base answer is the balance sheet also known as or in other words balance sheet means as the statements of financial positions shows the financial positions of a company at a specific point in a time in a time it provides a snapshot of the company assets liability and shareholders equity the balance sheet equity balance sheet equity equations or in other assets equal to liability plus equity this means balance sheets this means balance sheets in a formula. Illustrate the accounting equation emphasize the fundamental concept that the company assets must equal it is liability and the key is these financial statements help the stakeholders understand what the company oil or assets OS or liabilities in the residual interests of owners or equities at a particular moment at a particular moment so the best answer for this question is balance sheets balance sheets question number four question number four a company's current ratio is calculated by dividing current assets by what a company current ratio is calculated by dividing a current asset by A total asset, B total liability, C equity, D net income, D. So the best answer for this question is, is total liability. Total liability means that company current ratio is calculated by divide the current assets or the company current ratio equal to current asset per total liability in formula or the best description for this equation current ratio is calculated by dividing current assets dividing current asset by total liability this is a basic formula this ratio is a major of company ability to cover it is short term obligations with it is short term assets the formula for current ratio is formula in formula or the expressions in terms of formula is current ratio equal to current assets over or by by total liability it provides insights into the company liquidity and it is capacity to make it is short term financial obligations so the answer is total liability question number five question number five which of the following is an examples of current current liabilities the examples of current liabilities are a account receivable B long debts long term debts C pre prepaid expense D account payable payable so the answer for this question is question number five D account payable account payable is an example of current li current liability the best examples of current liabilities are account payable current liabilities are obligations that the company is expected to settle within one year or it is operating cycle whichever 
is long. Account payable specifically represents the amount a company owes to its suppliers or vendors for good and service that have been purchased on credits. It is a short term liability that needs to be paid off typically with short time frames making it making it part of a current liability is on a company balance sheets. So the best answer is option D. That means the best examples of current liabilities is account pad. Question number six. Question number six. Which accounts which accounting method recognize revenue when it is earned? Earned regardless of when the payment is received. So A accuracy basis basis B cash basis D matching basis D L I F O basis. So the best answer for this question is A accurate basis. A real basis of accounting recognize revenue when it is earned and expenses when they are incurred regardless of the timing of cash transactions. This method aims to match revenue and expenses to the prior the period in which they are earned or incurred, providing a more accurate representation of a company financial performances. In contrast, the cash basis of accounting regarding regarded transactions only when cash is received or paid, which may not reflect economic realities of transactions. A real basis is widely used in financial reporting financial for financial reporting provide a more comprehensive and transparent views of a company financial positions and results of operations so the answer is a real basis a real basis question number seven question number seven which of financial ratio measures which financial ratio shows measures a company ability to generate Profit from this assets. A. Return on assets. Return on assets. B. Current ratio. C. Debt to equity ratio. C. Gross profit margin. So, the answer for this question is option A. Option A. O. R. O. A. Which means the ways or the mechanisms of financial major financial ratio majors a company as ability to generate profit from its assets is also known as return on assets return on we will see description return on assets is a financial ratio that measures companies ability to generate profit from its assets it is calculated by divide the net income divided by the net income by average total assets in a formula or ROA or return on assets equal to net income divided by average total assets average total assets so the expression or the of expression of return on an asset is in formula. Return on assets indicates how efficiently a company utilizes its assets to generate profit. A higher ROA suggests better asset utilizations and profitabilities, while lower ROA may indicate less effective use of assets. This ratio is 
useful for assessing, management, ability to generate earning from companies investment in assets. Question number eight. What is the following is an example of long-term investments. Investments has many terms, maybe long-term, short-term, or medium terms. From those, from those uh, examples of long-term investments are inventory, B, account receivable, C, building, D, prepare expense, prepare expenses, building. So building means it is a long-term investment plans. It is not complete in a short period of time because building is a uh, many components or it has many steps for building, for completing one building if we take. So it is when we are planning for building, preparing building, that is a long-term plan. Inventory means the short account receivable means short prepared expense means also it's a short term plan. So building is an example of long-term investments. Long-term investments are assets that company hold for an expected period. Typically more than one year, maybe it takes more than one year, which the expect patients of generating future benefits in this context buildings are considered as property plant and equipments and are categorized as long-term assets they are not means for immediate sale or consumptions but are used for ongoing business operations and are expected to provide economic benefits from over several years. In contrast, inventory, account receivable, and prepared expenses are typically considered as short term or current asset space. That means option A, B, and D are an example of short term or current assets. Good. Question number nine. Question number nine. What is the purpose of what is the purpose of statements of cash flow? What is the main purpose of statements of cash flow? You know cash flow. A to show the changes in company returned earning over a period of time. B to disclose the company's source and the use of cash during the spread. C. To provide detail about company revenue and expenses. D. To report the financial positions of a company at a specific point in a time. So, the main functions or the purpose of cash flow is option B. That means to disclose company resources and use of cash during a period is also known as all or the main objectives of cash flow. So the answer is B. Uh, the descriptions of this are discloses a company to disclose the company's resources and the use of cash during a period is the functions of cash flow. The main purpose of the statements of cash flow is to disclose a company's sources and uses of cash during the specific periods. It provides a summary of how the company cash positions has changed over time by categorizing the cash flows into three main activities. So, so the three main activities of cash flows or the company organizational cash flows are one one operating activities two investment activities three financial activities so as example operating activities is the cash flows from the core business operations including receipts from customers and payment to supply and employees is known as operating activities that is categorized under cash flows 
activities. Second, investment activities show that the cash flow from the buying and selling of long-term assets such as property, plant, equipment, and investments are also the ways of gain. Financial activities, cash flow from transaction with a company owner in creditors such as issuing or purchasing stock and the answers are listed. So the answer for this question is B. Question, the next question. Question number 10. Question number 10. Which financial statements report is a company revenue expenses and net income or loss for specific periods? A. Balance sheet. B. Statements of cash flow. C. Income statement. D. Statements of Retire earning. So the best answer for this question is C. C is the best answer. Switch financial statements report a company revenue, revenue, expenses, and net income for specific periods known as income statements. We will see some descriptions. See, the income statement report is company revenue, assets, uh, expenses, and net income or loss for specific periods, also known as a profit and loss statements or statements of earning. It is provide a summary of a company financial performance over a given time frame. The income statement is flow the formulas or the income statement flow formula is net income equal to revenue minus expenses what we gain which means the net income is equal to gain minus expense loss gain minus loss what we are gain minus or the total income minus expense what you are losing that means net income totally net income it is an essential financial statement for stockholders to assess a company profitable and operational efficiency during particular periods the balance sheets statements of cash flow and statements of return earning provide different perspectives on a company, financial positions, and activities they are, which means A, B, and D are other activities of, of other activities of the company positions as well as, but option C or income statement is the best answer. Next question, question 1. 11 question number 11 which of the following is not not this negative a component is of two point analysis you know do point analysis do point analysis of many components from that which are not which are not the components of this a return on assets b return on equity c financial leverage d growth Profit margin. For education, E grows profit margins. From those, option D is not a component of G point analysis. Financial leverage, return on assets, and return on equities are the basic, the basic D point components. But gross profit margins are not components of D point analysis. We will see descriptions. Gross profit is not a component of D point analysis. The D point analysis is financial performance measuring its framework that breaks down return on equities into its component parts, providing insight into the factor influencing a company profitable. 
the three primary components of deep point analysis are the three. There are three basic components of deep point analysis, like option A, return assets, financial reverage, option C, option B, or return keys. So the descriptions of these are mentioned. As example, return on asset means this ratio measures how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate profit or to gain profit. It is calculated as a net income divided by total assets. Net income divided by total assets. Total assets is known as return on assets. Number two, financial leverage. Descriptions of financial leverages. This component represents the contributions of debts and other liabilities to company return to on equities. Three, return on equity are mentioned. Gross profit, gross profit margins. On the other hand, the best descriptions of this one is images of a company's profitables at the gross profit levels and is calculated as gross profits divided by revenue times 100. So, this one is not answer or not components of the mentioned. Question number 12. In the context of financial management, context of financial management, what is does WACC standards or WACC WACC represents what in financial management? A. Weighted average cost of capital. B. Weighted average cost of cash. C. Weighted asset control calculators. D. Weighted asset cost of capital. So the answer for question is weighted asset, weighted average cost of capital. A is the best answer. WACC means weighted average costs of capital. Weighted average cost of capital stands for weighted average cost of capital. It is financial metric that represents the average rates of return companies is expanded to pi to its inventors. So the answer is option A. In other words, Formula for WACC are given in here. Formula for WACC or weighted average GC, uh, weighted average cost of capital is equal to V over E times RE plus V over D times RD times in 1 minus TC to uh, close W, which means that uh, up to this one, plus PC, PS over V times PS. E means, in here, E means, this E means, the market values of equity. D means, this D, the market values of dips. V means, this one, V over E, values of total market values of companies, capital structures. RE means, this one, the cost of equity. RD means, this one, the cost of dips. TC means, this section, corporate tax rate, and PS, PS, market values of preferred stocks. So W average weighted cost capital is crucial tool in determining the discount rates of future cash flows in financial valuation model. Financial valuation model. Question one three. Which of the following is an example of fixed cost? There are different types of cost. From that, which examples of which Type or an example of fixed cost A, direct labor B, raw material C, rent expense D, variable production costs. Best answer is rent. 
expense, rent expense. Expense is our best examples of fixed cost. Descriptions of rent expenses is an example of fixed cost. Fixed cost is our expenses that do not change into total regarding its own levels of productions or sales. Rent is a fixed cost because an amount to be paid. So the best descriptions are also given. On the other hand, direct labor variable production costs are given in here. Direct labor in the raw material option B and C option B and A are typical considered variable cost because they are vary in direct proportion to the levels of production. Variable production cost or option D are change with the levels of production and are also considerable variable. So they are not fixed. Rent expenses are a fixed cost. A fixed cost. Fixed cost examples. They are not do not change in total. So the best answer is C for one three. Next question, question one four. Question fourteen. Time value of money capital. The time values of money concept is based on the principles that A. The money today is worth more than the same amount in the future. B. More today is worth less than the same amount in the future. C. Money today is money today have the same values as the same amount in the future. D. Money today is independent of this future values. So the answer is option A. Money today is worth more than the same amount in the future is the best principles of the concept based on the principle of money. Money today is worth more than the same amount of the future. We will read the descriptions. Time value of money concept is based on the principle that the money today is worth more than the same amount of the future. This is because the Potential earning capacities of money over time due to factors such as interest, inflation, and the opportunities or to its invests. So, in financial term, time values of money is the idea that values of sum of money is not constant and can change over time. So this principle is fundamental to various financial calculations and including present values, future values, and calculations of the interest rates. Next question or final question for today is question number one five. Which means which of the following is not not related of project evaluations? There are different ways of evaluating the projects from that not ways of evaluating or not the mechanism of project evaluation a payback trading b return on investment c net represent values d economic order quantities the answer is d which means that economic order quantities are not mechanism of project evaluations option a b and c are the best mechanisms or project evaluation mechanisms in description economic order quantity is not methods of project evaluations e or q is a technique or economic order quantity is a technique used in inventory management to determine the optimal order quantities that minimize total inventory holding costs and ordering costs it is specially related to inventory control and has no direct applications in evaluating available viable and profitable projects on the other hand on the other hand i backbreak or option A is 
immediately that calculations the time it take for an investment to generate cash flows sufficient to recover its initial costs or option A or it is basic mechanisms B on option B return on investment option B is images the profitables of an investment by expressing the returns as a percentage of initial investments net represents values NPV or option C is a method that values the profitabilities of a project by comparing the present values of its cash inflow and outflow. So, answer is D, that means economic order quantities or not a mechanism of project valuations. So those three are a mechanism of project evaluations. They are a mechanism of project evaluations. So for today, I prepared uh, the answer for question one to five. That means under part one, all the next parts or section two, we'll see the next questions, the left questions up to question 50. 50. So thank you for watching. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. So, if you want the next part of this question, uh, exam prepared, please subscribe my channel and share for your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day. We will see on section 2. On section 2 of this, exams or prepared questions. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Gafile kana fakatan bro yo barbad denif YouTube channel ke subscribe and share ko chunde kitina kon party jal kaati party la mafaisa bu ya ikhtiyar ko de sin ya yo kan bu ya fo chun kana ho video le bro ni le wanjira nif da wo chunde kitina video le na ni chun gafi ko fo don tan gafile san ko fo don tan ipsa sani ba la description ga wa ka banif video ke san is share goda wala je je bisinu gala to ma la fana ga ola ni sin injada Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you.
ባይ መልካም ነው በየቻለሁ አመሰግናለሁ ቻው